afternoon, good evening, good night or good morning, depending on where you're watching that balloon show. Uh, I thought we were not meant to be here for this episode. Uh, yeah, that's true. We um, are actually flying out to the US tomorrow. Right. Really early. Right. Yeah. So we thought we'd squeeze in this extra show. Yeah, bonus episode, guys. Bonus episode. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. And uh, it's lovely to see you guys in the chat. So as uh, we are here, what are we doing on the show? Well, um, the Borosino and Legenda Ooh. equipment has now landed in the UK. That's right. We'll be taking a look at the brand new Legenda Ultra V6. But before that, there's this. Look, I'm spotting my new bright pink nice. Prima. It goes with the eyes, Keith. It does. It does. It's pink to match and my I eyes. I blend into our background and also have a bit of... Can we see it? Yes, that yeah, show. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, so we are Looking indeed good. getting ready to head off uh, to the United States of America. I'm heading off to... Uh, oh, you've got your Prima, Prima cap. <laughs> um, heading off to Elkhart in South Bend, Indiana for the next big balloon build. Yeah, you, have we got the idea that we're spo that we're sponsored by Prima tonight? I'm just I'm actually reflecting on the fact that we have no cup of tea. We do have no cup of tea. In fact, this studio has been atrocious. Four cups of tea. In fact, we should move. We should. Yeah, we really should. Yes. That's why what you can't see, guys, is behind us is a pile of boxes ready for moving. Dave. It is the uh, entire studio and entire um, that balloon show office is indeed packed up, <laughs> ready for moving. Um, Thankfully, we were aware, of course, yes. whether it would happen. We had to rebuild this set because we took it apart and realised that now we can squeeze one more in, but we thought it's worth the effort. Uh, you guys yeah. are. I'm just going to put that on Do Not Disturb because stop messaging me. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> we'll do Wasn't that over there. Wasn't me. So, uh, yes, uh, the Legenda um, machines well, and uh, the Borosino, Borosino machines and Borosino accessories have landed, uh, part one of the order has landed in our UK warehouse and we have been, um, yes. the elves have been working hard to get that. It's on uh, the elf inflators, I like the elf did there. I know, yeah, yeah, the yeah. B271s that everybody's after. Uh, we have got a lot of them, so you should be looking for your, if you are in the UK, um, also in, in the US as well, I believe they've landed there. Yeah, so this is not just um, here in the UK where they've landed, uh, although we know they're here, but we've got them, uh, we've got equipment landing all yeah. around the world. Uh, so do contact your local distributor to check to see if they've got equipment coming their Emma, way. Emma's saying there, when will the inflators and the premium inflators be available to buy, please? Emma, I, if you're in the UK, uh, very soon. The Borosino stuff, we've just been checking it off to make sure everything's right and everybody's happy with um, what's coming in so that we can um, send it on to our distributors. Yes, yeah, so orders, in the orders UK. will start shipping out to distributors soon. Yeah. Uh, so you need to kind of pester your local distributor to ask them, uh, hey, where is what I need? Yes, absolutely. Um, so the B271s, which everybody's been wanting, they're little. But they're uh, so pump, good though, that's uh, why. They're amazing pump. Um, we Love have a plenty. We should have plenty of them in the UK for the. the Emma's pre desperate, apparently. Yes. I'm assuming for that inflator. No, just desperate in general. Yeah, maybe it's for the loo. He yeah. desperate for the loo. Cross your legs. Watch the episode. Um, then, uh, so, so what else we got in? We got the legendas. We got the new Ultra V6, which we hadn't played. With we got a kind of a sneaky so peek I'll, in Nuremberg. Yeah, I'd used the a previous one, mm. and um, from where they've evolved from is fantastic. Yeah, because the the hitch, the, sorry, the V five had the extra buttons on, but I'd never used that one. Yeah, um, and I'd used one of the, like. I think probably it was version one or two or something. Yeah. And it's come a long way since a the original long way, build, yeah. So. And the V6, some of the features which we'll run through, uh, we, when we were in Nuremberg uh, for the trade show there, we really had a yeah. good bit of fun having a go of some of the different features that it does. And it is a really good machine to use. It is, it is. Um, also, we have the Baby Legendas in stock too. Um, I know that's been an incredibly popular um, inflator since its launch. Yes. Um, so, and it continues to be so. So we do have them in the UK too. 
Um, and we will be uh, having, a bit, and, uh, ha- having a bit of a play with them in the studio as well because what we did have a go with whilst we were in Nuremberg as well is they have available the link yes. leads so you can actually use two of those baby legendas and, and link them up and they work synchronised so it does mean that that machine becomes yeah it just sounds great uh, using one button on one machine actually controls the two machines but we'll do that on a different episode yeah. I think it is the little machine um, deserves its own show Absolutely. so we'll do that on a different one what we're going to do you is, you guess that's the toilet, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing, yeah, Emma. We get it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to head on over to the workshop um, and we're going to unveil the the V6. Yep. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them in chat. We, um, About we'll the machine. Them. We can't answer everything else. I, if limited. you've got any questions in general, just ask. It's not a problem. I mean, don't rely on the answers, though. Yeah, well, just ask the questions <laughs> and we might make up the answers. True. You never know. I mean, statistically, uh, I'm going to head that way. Statistically, 80% of all answers are made up. Well, 98% of all statistics are made up. This That's is true. true. That is the truth. Right, okay, I'm going to head over that way. Go, cool. you go. I'll see if I can find the camera. Did you unpack it? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's no, no joke. No joke. Isaiah, I'm... it has been a while. Why, hello, Isaiah. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to hide it behind the legenda bag. I'm, nice. I'm on. You're not on yet. I'm just admiring that bag. It's a really good bag, that. Right, okay. We're going to fire over. I'm going to mind you to fall over. Here we go. Boop. You're on. Here it is. Here's the machine. But before that, as Dom was asking if we about unpacking the camera, um, this is a bonus show. We didn't think we were going to be doing it because uh, we are flying off stupidly early tomorrow morning, so we didn't think we were going to have time. But, you know, we like to do what we can for you guys. Um, and we love, um, we love talking with you guys. Um, so we thought we'd chuck in this extra show. So we yeah. unpacked some of the stuff and to do this. Th- great timing as well, because these machines have just landed, um, yeah. and the the features on this are fantastic. Ooh, look, yeah. there we go. Help Get the, the shiny help, light off Help that. to see it. Yeah. So comparison-wise against the other machines that we have, this is um, a digital sizer. It is a digital sizer. For air. So it's an air inflator yeah, digital sizer. Um, very similar to the Conwin V6. Yes. How we've synchronised with version numbers. The precision now. air. Yep. Um, yep. So that that is a, a similar style of pump, uh, and it's in the category similar you know, to the I twin size. It's different as well, though. It's black. It's black. Yeah. It's like yeah. yeah. Rather than it's blue. like uh, ninja stealth. It's black. Yeah. And it comes with the big bag as well. It's a uh, it's a lovely little inflator. Good quality on the bag as well. Yeah. So that that's the the lineup that where it sort of uh, fits in as mm-hmm. a comparison type machine. A, it is because it's that style of inflator as well. The pump itself is works in the same way as the Precision Air, um, the, the V6, and the fact that it's uh, it charges a cylinder. Yeah, it sucks sucks in the air and charges that cylinder up. Yeah. And then, and then inflates the balloon and then gets rid of the rest of the air. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Does it out? Yeah. It's yes. got different ones. This one. It's got more vents on this. I think it's got um, five. Five. One, two, three, must be four. Three. Maybe three. It was an odd number. Three I remember speaking with Simon from Borzino and uh-huh. there was... Yes. There was a three or a five in there. There we go. But so, it yes. is uh, well kitted out. So there's quite a lot going on on this one as well. So I suppose the easiest one to talk about is the one in the middle. Oh, the, well, the, the one in the middle, it's the first time it's been on the Legenda B322, yes. if you, if you yep. attack... Guy. So this is essentially the thanks, Misty. Baby, baby legenda. This is the baby legenda and shoved inside. The shoved inside yeah. of the, the V five. Yes. So this outlet is controlled by this button. Yeah. You one second. Do that little button there, and it's got a separate pump. Yeah. Totally separate pump. It has nothing to do with the display or the function on the front of this machine, right? No, no, it is completely it's, independent. It's entirely independent. The, the reason it's here is because it does such a good job for inflating um, 160s, 260s, all the modelling style balloons. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's ready there, nice and smooth. And it just means you've got one machine with that inside. So you've got one power supply, one machine, one bag, and it's already in there as well. So this, this machine at that level, you get that baby in agenda already in it. Yeah, it's, it is. It's a, it's, it's a twofer. Yeah. And the fact that it's actually built into the machine. Two for one. Um, which it's great because the little the baby legenda is an amazing machine by itself. Yeah. But now it comes with the um, inside of the V of the V6. Fantastic. So if you want to make swirlies and then uh, do your was it Harry Potter? Ooh. 
So, so it kind Maybe of start. again to, to line the machines up. The, the the premium twin sizer is is excellent in the fact that it's from the two nozzles you've got, you can do two sixties um, and up over. Uh, it does one sixties as well. Yeah. Um, but and all your five inch, eleven inch, and all the rest of it. This one. You don't have any one sixties. The type of inflated nozzles these are. It would struggle with a 160. We haven't tried it, but it's probably a struggle. Yeah. Same as the common V6. It's a struggle yeah. on a 160. 260. It's a different pump. Yeah. yeah. It's like the the twin um, the twin SIZA because it's an on-demand piston pump. That's no problem. Yeah. It's going to power through them. However, it's not really. It's a bit too aggressive as well. Yes. Um, to so to get to that really smooth it. inflation, yeah. twin size is fantastic for entertainer type balloons. Mm -hmm. The um, uh, we generally don't go down that route for using the precision air for that. No. Um, but something like... Can be. It's just a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Um, but using this one for control of that is fantastic. So the fact that it's in the same machine, it, it, it um, identifies that this is not the best outlet nozzle for doing that task. Yeah. So it's now included. Love that. Also, if it gets in the way, um, for instance, if you're doing a lot of rounds and you don't want this in the way, um, this simply... Um, screws off, it's not a push fit, it's a screws off brass and it can go and live in the bag which has got loads of compartments in there for uh, storage of your, of your extra nozzles and your equipment but we'll screw Lovely. back on there. Love that. Yeah. Um, do these nozzles come High off? High quality. Yeah, they, yeah. they screw off yeah. as well. So when any time that you're transporting any of the kit, really you should be taking them the nozzles off for um, for transport, but yeah, these are another one that they screw on into there, and it comes with a, a bonus nozzle. So uh, when you you get uh, the your two nozzles, plus you get a third, and that's spare. Not because it's going to break necessarily, but anything that's removable, you are losable. Possible. <laughs> I've left it in the safe space. Yeah, I know that people with this, because this is a, a the metal handle on the top um, folds down when you're using, but it folds up uh, for carrying is they take these and this part and actually tie them um, yeah. to that part so it makes that. it yeah so it makes it a lot easier because people are the same as us put things down you don't want to lose them right it's, it's an integral yeah. part of the machine and so. you want it there when you need it so that, that's a great way of doing this so that button there controls that so that's kind of on its own and then you have another button to this side as well as the foot pedal right apparently we've just done we've just done a golden nugget as well. Thank you, Alfred. Um, hey. Whichever one that nug nugget was for, we appreciate it. Um, not leaving things. <laughs> I would have guessed. <laughs> probably, probably. Yeah, he's got yeah, me too. Um, so he's got a button here to control it. Ah, but and it also has, on the other end of this, it has a foot pedal um, with nice four chunky feet on there so it doesn't slip around carpets or um, laminates, surfaces and things like that. It's got four rubber feet so that it's, it sticks to where it should be. I've been asked before on people about, about this kind of function. Why would you have a button when you've got a pedal? Ah, well, because if you work in a retail environment like we've done, yeah. right, this is... You so guys that have been watching the show for a long time, you will know exactly why you should have the... why it's good to have that button yeah. on there as well as a pedal. I also find it, even from a decorated point of view, and now, now we've done this, is the fact that... So you've got a setup and you're working and, and you've got a workstation and the pedal's in the right spot. Yeah. However, sometimes you just might need one extra balloon or you're doing something and you might lean over or just come in from a different sort of, uh, sort of angle and to be able to put your hand on the machine and not have to kind of line yourself up to press the pedal, it's hard to also, press the pedal when you're Also, not, when you've got multiple people using the same machine. Yeah, you might want to just dive in. The fact that you put the balloon on and press it there, that's, that's an easy hit. Really, than, I, I really like that. I really like the fact that it's got that extra bonus. I think, yeah. it's a, I think it's a really big bonus. Also, in a retail environment, if you've got a pedal on the floor, as you walk past, if you catch that pedal, Oopsie. everybody jumps. Yeah, so... We... Unexpected. Normally the person who's pressed it is the person who jumps. Uh, <laughs> this one is an easy press with your palm, so it's uh, we've yeah. got this the wrong way around for usability. So it's Normally a little finger, face. so yeah, it's be like that little finger on there. Yeah, or... but when it's the proper way, straight on. He'll land. E easy, but it's designed for multifunction and it works either or, and it works even if the pedal's not plugged in as well. Yeah. It just works, um, so it, it, use it, don't use it, you've got both options. So. It, it is, it gives you options, right? Yeah. So um, when we um, size, it's got a size and, and, it's, uh, and a counter as well, so what we can do is on here, I can press this up and you can see, if I lean this forward, you can see that it changes the, the timer for both of them, so it syncs them up. Um, but what I can do is I can use the left-hand side to make it so that these inflate to two different sizes. So if I modify this, um, which is really cool for I use this side. Oh, classic building and organic building yeah, as well. Yeah, so some some of the times we, when we're doing organic, we're working within a within a set size and then doing it like a drop down inflation. So we might inflate 
and then drop it down a bit to get some sort of rough size in and then kind of finessing it manually but the fact that you do two different sizes at the same time is pretty cool yep. but also when we're doing certain um different designs sometimes you need two balloons that are tied together that are two different sizes so that's Especially with organics and yeah stuff like. really cool well even though um classic build as well you you often have you know yep. we did a lot of um the flat wave yeah exactly so and using two different sizes for that was fantastic so yeah. that, that's a nice touch so uh, at the moment we've got a set of one second and they're both set to the same of one second. So I've got some standard 11 inch balloons on here, which I'll put, I'll press the button once, it'll inflate and automatically stop. Um, and one second on this does, uh, on our power supply, does uh, approximately nine inches. Two balloons, nine inches. Rounded. And tied and so ready to go again. What this machine did then as well, once you press this pedal or the button, it charged itself up, let the air out to the exact times, and then stopped the pump motors. Yes. But what you can now hear, I'll go with the plus microphone, you can hear a fan, and that's a cooling fan. And that kicks in and will stay working to keep the machine consistently cool whilst you're working it. Yeah, it's literally drawing the air through at the moment to cool down that whole yeah. area inside. So it does that automatically. Now, if you leave the machine for a little while, dormant, not being used, it will automatically switch off. So you don't need to turn it off. In fact, you're better off leaving it running if you've been using it for a while, because I've seen some people as a habit, because they've got other machines that potentially may have overheated or get hot, so they'll finish a batch of balloons and then unplug it. Unplug or switch off, because there's an on-off switch down this right-hand yeah. side as well. So I Actually, I was working with someone who was using an old machine, but using this one, there we go. who turned it off because it all just to let it cool down. This machine automatically cools itself and it will shut itself down as yep. well. So that's brilliant. And it, I think it says running longer when it's hotter as well. So it's kind of looks after itself. So that's brilliant. So it's stopped again now. There isn't, it's, it's, the fan has cut off. Uh, and it'll come back on when you when recycle you it. it yeah. Um, so it's also counted, the timer has counted, uh, has changed to a quantity, which is a triple digit number. On there and you can see it's got double zero one and so it's now every time we press it it counts up so sometimes what happens is a balloon will fail on inflation so what let, you can if you let go of it just yeah <laughs> what you can do is you can change the the count on it as it goes it also counts it's not the number of balloons on this one it's actually the number of times that you press that button the cycle yeah so, so yeah. it's how many duplets or, or whatever it is you're doing that's your count i do love the fact that you can adjust that count um, i know that the the twin sizer added that feature because yeah. it was always that thing you do an account, but then it's plus or minus one or uh, something. Yeah, the and twin air sizer two. Yeah, added that it, it was feature. always the, the on the on twin one. It'd be like okay, it, okay, that's twenty eight duplets. It's done, but I need to add another one onto that because I dropped. Like, yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever. So then you try and, and remember something that's not necessary, let the machine do the work on that. So, so it's dead such easy. a silly feature, but a fantastic it's feature. It's great. It's, yeah. It really is. It's good. Um, but if you want to go back to your size, and what you can do is you just press this one under here, which says switcher or zero, and you press it, and it goes back to the size. And on there, press it again, goes back to the count. If, for instance, we're resetting, we want to go again, what I do is I just press and hold the switcher button, and it's going to reset this back to all the zeros. There we go, and it's back. It's it's reset your counter, yeah. but it's not an accidental press, and it's gone. It's you've got to yeah, press it. Yeah, it's, it's a definitive one. Now, when I first looked at this machine, I got a little confused with this bank of buttons here. Yes, because you've got them extra six buttons yeah, on the top. It goes K O, K one, K two, K three, K four. Because of K5. all lots of Keiths. Keiths, 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 Keiths buttons. Too many zero. Keiths people. Keiths one button. Keith's two button. Yes. Keith's three button. Too many Keiths people. Keith's four button, and this one's Harry's. Number five. Yes. Hi, Harry. So, it, it it's a bank of four in the middle. Yeah. And then one button either side that does two different features. So we'll start at the left. Well, let's. What we need to do then is if, to do that is what we'll do is we'll put the timers up yep. there, and you can see that the timers are set to one point six and one point six on there. So you've got an option now. You might be wanting to change the sizes. Yes. You can go straight away and adjust them up and down. Yes. That's a, a valid thing to do, and that's fine. Where this comes in handy, it's a little shortcut. Go from the top line if so you can. Do yeah. there. So if you press it, it'll reset those down to 0, 0.0, 0, 0. Where that's handy is you might be at a number far away from where you need. Yeah, if you're doing, if you're jumping from 11 inch balloons inflated almost fully, and you're going straight down to some five inch yeah, balloons. Yeah, does it roll over? I don't. Uh, I don't want that one. I do it roll over. If it, when we're at 9.9, .9, for instance, does it roll? Don't know. Let's find I out. don't know. Let's check. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna press and hold, so it'll move fast. So I'm at six point something, seven point something, eight, eight point something. I'm at eight point eight, nine point 
9 9.6, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9, see if it goes to zero. zero. So it does roll over, yeah. so that's nice. However, you might be right in the middle, yeah. like somewhere four, or five, or six, yeah. and you want to get down to one, or you want to get up to nine. So you just press that key of zero, and it's just it zeros everything. It puts it down all the way down to yeah. zero. You don't have to use it, it's just there to give you a, a quick shortcut to jump into that. So yeah. that's a lovely little button. Very handy. The next ones, K1, 2, 3, and 4, what they do is they are memory functions. So what we can do is... We need more of them. Yeah, you're not wrong. So if, for instance, um, we do a lot of um, our, our, say our cheat organics that we do, right? Yeah. They're nines and sevens. So what I'll do is I'm going to have a look at my cheat sheet, which I had over here. You do get a cheat sheet with it, yeah, yes. Yeah, you do get a cheat sheet with it. It has all your um, sizing in. And actually, the uh, nine inch balloons, sorry, the 11 inch size to nine inches uh, was spot on. Yeah, it was. We always recommend doing a sort of sanity check on it. Use the cheat sheet, have a go, and create your own chart that yeah. you're happy with. Because you might want to finesse it a little bit. You might find, especially with power supplies, we find if we're using a U, uh, like a, a UK or Euro machine versus the US, we'll get some fluctuation between uh, our setting versus the US setting. Yeah. And it's, it might be minor, but it, we wouldn't want to give a recipe and say you need to inflate it exactly to this size. So yep. like any any machine that has a digital sizing with it, do a little bit of calibration, a bit of play around with it, give yourself your own little chart, and then you're golden from that moment on. Uh, somebody, that I, as I, uh, can we add a memory function to my brain? I seem to be losing them as Wait. the years go on. That's exactly the same. So what this is going to do is going to help you out, as I, uh, because if I do on here, K1, and I press it, it's like the radio button on your... On, the radio in the car, right? <laughs> so you set it to the station <laughs> that you want, remember. Or, or set it to the sizes that you want, and press and hold that button until it flashes. And now what happens is I can go to, I can change my sizes to whatever I was going to, and then press my memory button, the K1, and it'll take it straight back to that setting that I put in there as a memory. So it's great. So if you have recipes that you use the same sizes again and again, you can actually store these up to um, four different settings at yeah. any one time. And, and each and side of the nozzle memories. on each memory can be a different size. So yeah. it recalls the so I've two got the moment, sizes. I've got nine inches on one side and I've got seven inches on the other side for yeah. the moment. So that's perfect. So it's great. Us. So you, you're going to set yourself up to do a particular design and you know you've got two, three, four different sizes that you go to sizes. Yeah. Then you can program them in and it's really fast and simple and you can recall them. To overwrite it, you just adjust the size again and press, press and hold, hold again. And that will update. Yeah. Done. Love that. And that's one, two, three, and four can all be used independently. And you don't have to start at number one, number two. You can jump no, to number no, four, whatever. whatever. It's whatever you it's want. It's just like a radio button in the car. It's just You just jump straight yeah. to it. Um, so we've got this red button here, which everybody loves to press the red button. Well, you shouldn't press the red button. So H5 is completely different because what H5 does... I'm going to reset the display so we're down to zero on both sides. Yeah. Yep. So H5 does, it's actually, it's, a, um, it's got the message right next to it. It says... A random pattern and um, so this is for creating a random garland um, on small sizes um, from balloon sizes from around about three inches up to um, nine inches yes yeah so what I do is I press H5 and what that does is it's randomized the pattern so at the moment it's got 0 0.5 and 1 which is on this is just on the, it's about six and a half inches and nine inches on there if I'm using 11 inch balloons. Again, when I was talking to someone about this, their understanding was you press H5, you do your sizes, then you press H5, H5 again, again as it's trying to kind of create two new sizes. Yeah. No, it's even better than that. So if we go there, we've got the 0.5 and the one. If I press it, you can see that this hasn't gone to the timer function that it would normally do. So what it's done now is it's gone from 0.8 the to 0.7. Yes. Yeah, sorry, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, the counter. Instead of the counter, it's, um, it's stayed on the timer function. So I press it again, and it'll change those numbers again. So every time you press it, it gives you two sets of numbers. So Question. if you want some completely random... Yeah, so that's doing it. Changes every time, which I love. Does it count as well? I know it doesn't show the counter Ooh. because it wants to show you that it's done different sizes. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, so let's press this once. Yeah. It's a... Uh, or did it actually drop after a while? Did it drop to that? No, that's that's now it's only two digits, so that's definitely a timer function. Yeah. So I'm going to do it. Press again. It's, 
still on the random and that doesn't do anything that just kind of switches it over yeah so what you need to do is go back to zero to start off again and then that's yeah. back to counter. so the counter function for the random function is disabled yes it's disabled okay. for the counter so we know that didn't know thought i'd ask myself that question <laughs> the uh the other thing which is a really handy thing to do is um if you're inflating by eye because you're not 100 percent sure what size you want what we can do this is a so this is this is something, this is something we, we use, found out by mistake. Yeah. Right? So this is a great feature, that, and I love this one. So we often did for bouquets. Yeah. We would have a set recipe, which was perfect. It worked for us for set designs. But sometimes we'd have someone ask us, say, "Well, actually, I create custom bouquets sometimes for an event." And now we had this exact one. It was, you'll remember which one it is. It was eighty something bouquets. Yes. And it was a very spectacular bouquet. So what we did is we created one, it's our golden sample, and it was done by eye. Written so, metal. So we were capable of making this design and it was, that's what it's gonna be. Then we used that design to bring it down, do all the sizes so we can yeah. replicate that another 85 times. Exactly, so it was a golden sample, yes. that first one. This machine does that for the inflation, which yeah. I absolutely love. Now Keith found this out and it's like, I did not know that. No, no this was, uh, it, was a random thing, because as, as we it. do, we play with the machines. Because what um, if you set the twin air sizer down to, um, so that the timer's uh, zero, zero, uh, or all zeros, it goes into manual mode. So that means that as long as you're pressing the pedal down, it will continue to inflate. Yes. So I was wondering if this did the same thing. And it, it does and it doesn't. <laughs> So what it does is that, yes, it's, it will keep inflating for as long as you're pressing that pedal, the pedal down or the button. Or the button, yeah. Um, and it will keep going. So what I've got here is I've got a Prima 18-inch uh, pool party. Pool party. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate by eye and I'm going to stop it when I get it to the size that I want visually. So this is great. So say, for instance, again, if you're working with organics or something and you're adding some larger balloons in... And you want and them... you're just not sure of the size, but yeah. you know when you look at it what it's, size it's it wants size. to be. And I want to replicate that across the entire design. I want to do exactly the same size all the way. So what I'm going to do is on this one is I'm just going to press and hold it, and you'll see that this counter will go up as we go. And I'm going to stop it there. I don't think you did on that one. Uh, zero zero. Pedal you pressed, or was it okay? That's manual, that's not what happened. One second, so sorry, that doesn't okay. So I'm gonna do it on zero, switch it zero. How, how, how did I do how, that? Because it was brilliant. We've sort of everyone on a feature here that we can't replicate. And I replicated it. One second. I'm just going to switch it off. Well, let me just reset that. Let's reset the counter. And then, that's the counter. That's the counter. And then switch back it. to there. Yeah. And, and then, then zeroes it. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to do a manual to zero. Okay. Manual to zero. How did you do it, Keith? Very well. So what we have to do is have to find out uh, to replicate it because this was when I was just playing with this earlier. So I'm going to see if it works again this time. Good. Okay. I wonder if I think it was the when you go to that random mode. Just try random mode and see if that. Then reset. I don't know. Okay, so we'll do it again. We'll so, follow up to find out why that didn't do it that time. Yeah. But what we're doing now is we've zeroed... Anyway, I wanted to inflate with lime green anyway. Zeroed down both sides of this, so put it into manual mode. Yes. But as it inflates, you'll see... This time the, you will, you will see it this well, time. Well, I wouldn't have seen the first time because we weren't turning <laughs> it forward, but I can show you uh, what I should have been up. doing. <laughs> It's lovely that size. Yeah, so when we get it to the size that we want visually, what it is is that it's also told me that that timer is 3.9. So it means that if I want to replicate this, 
I set either set it to 3.9 or Finesse it actually it. remembers it now. So, so it does remember it. It stays at 3.9 and it, you can keep on doing it. It'll only count up from the zeros. So to yeah. do this again, you'd have to reset this to zero and do another version. What's great about that is you might be asking one of your members of staff to go, I need you to inflate a few of these 18-inch green balloons to mm, what size? Or oh, let's have a look. You manually do it and go, right, OK, perfect, 3.9. Actually, let's finesse it. Let's go to four, four. And we'll put that in on memory one for you. There you go. Yeah, and then you could do as well as that. Say, for instance, you do another one and you go, actually, I'm going to do another one and the other one's going to be two. So because you can look at the size and it tells you what size that it should be, yes. then what you can do is you can switch these over to go, uh, actually my left hand or my, my other side of the nozzle is going to be set to two and then I'll hold it in the memory. So now I've got two different sizes it, that we've... It takes a big step out the process yeah. because if you're trying to play around with sizes, sometimes you go, oh, I want it about so big. And then you put a size in, you're inflated, you go, mm, and it's, no, it's too near. small or it's too big. And you're kind of having to play around with it. What I loved about this version of the way it does it is you can just manually inflate and then it tells you what the setting is for that. Love that. Yeah. And how you use it, there's going to be so many ways and I'm sure you guys will be more creative than us, but I just thought that was an excellent feature. Um, uh, random again, it was completely yeah. one of these things that we found. We don't know if somebody's already doing this with it but uh it's it's we haven't seen anybody doing it with this particular just the machine. usability of that as well you do also um have oh, yeah. the nozzles for downsizes for yeah five so inch if we're doing five uh, inch let's do uh lilac and um mango mango um so i'll not do it at that size as well mm. i'll reset it because yeah. i don't want to go all the way down from four because you go from four because we're used to old school having to go through it right. yeah and then we'll do it at uh, 0.3 and see what that comes out at so i'll just put them onto there and then <laughs> Give us two perfect balloons each time. Love that. One and two. But you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? So we don't lose it. Are you going to screw that back on? Yes. It's probably a very good idea. Yes. So lots of different features, uh, and and there is, and we will be covering more as well as we bring this into the new studio and have a play around, make some designs and stuff with a new Prima product that is arriving in the not too distant future as well. So. Yeah, uh, that will be rather cool. There is an, another feature on this particular machine, but we're not going to go into that. We're going to no. save that for a different episode. We are, because that's, that's an episode in itself. Um, but what we need to do now is head back over yes. to... Do you get anything else in the bag, by the way? In the bag. Does it have a shoulder strap, I believe? Uh, it does have a shoulder strap. Yeah. It does have the extra... Spare nozzle. Spare nozzle, as I said. And it also has... I forgot about this one. Yes. Is a handy um, safety cutter, uh, which can either click onto um, the, handle. the handle, so it's there, which a lot of people use it that way, so they pull it back, so you do, you tie and you click. Yes. Um, or you can put it onto, you know, your jeans or belt yeah. loop or, or whatever. But it's a, um, it's a really very, nice, Very similar to the uh, Conwin Quick Cutters as well. Yes. Um, I don't know if that one's available separately, but we do have the common quick cutters that will will be available. So and the new Borosino quick cutters as well. Yes, uh, which is dual. Is it got two things on two that blades one? On. Two blades on that one for um, two different ways of one using One blade, it. get out of here. Um, two blades, now you're talking. For us, that one's a good one to live on the machine because yeah. you've always got something and then use the other ones. Uh, you've also got, I don't know what this is in the top. Instructions. What? Instructions. <laughs> Nobody needs in them. There. Um, so uh, we'll go through those instructions actually because it's got the other feature. Um, that we're not going to discuss this time, but you can see inside of the bag, it's nice padded. It's got that um, zip section for holding extra stuff. Yeah. Um, you can put all your cables. And Cable and accessories else. at the other side as well. So stop Take your nozzles about. off when you yeah. goes into the That's bag. That's a must, 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 people. Otherwise, yeah. they will. You know, they're, they're a decent quality plastic, but they will break if you leave it, them on. It's also a very decent quality machine as well. There's some mm. weight behind it, and it's a solid construction. So um, I know what's going to win versus the plastic. Yeah, the metal is going to win yeah. versus the plastic. So it doesn't time. matter how, how good these are, you're going to come yeah, a cropper it's, it's and it's going, to, it's going to break. And what, what you don't want, uh, and we have seen it with people where they've transported the machines inappropriately and they've ended up with a, with a machine that they can't use mm -hmm. on oh, site that a, day, yeah. uh, which is always the drama. But for a lot of people, the replacement cost of one of these is negligible to the business it brings them, but it's the outer commission for the time that you're waiting to get that part and the like. So uh, big, big must that. So yeah. I'm going to head back that way. Okie dokie. So, yep, two nozzles. Third one with your 260 or 160 inflator, your side button for activating that well, and your foot pedal, and all of them buttons as well. It's a, it's a very good machine. It's got some amazing features. Uh, looking forward to using it in our new workshop very shortly. Yes, right. Goodbye, Keith. Hello, me. 
Yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys do with that. And as we said, that stock will be coming to or going to uh, UK distributors soon. Yes. And also our counterparts around the world have received and are receiving uh, those machines and accessories. And there's some, I have to say, some of the new frames and accessories we've got from Borsino uh, are... Mosaic frames are yeah. really nice. So, um, metal, so um, a rentable item yeah. that's about um, so thick. So when it's on its front like that, you see the number design or something, you turn it around like this and it's about so deep. So being able to stuff them with uh, balloons, yeah. it's really in. We like, we like a lot. We do. And there's lots of things we haven't played with as well, as well as the full lineup of uh, inexpensive inflators we have as well from Borosino, yeah. which is great. And I know a lot of people use those for rentable items as well for the DIY to capitalize on some of that market as well. There is a there is a, a, an amount of market that you can provide for uh, with um, equipment hire as well, so uh, we shall have a look at those, see, oh, see what they we offer. Will. But we do have to go because we uh, have to go and pack, get ready for our trip tomorrow. We um, do. We're hoping that we should be able to do some, uh, maybe one or two lives while we're in America. Um, it just depends on...